This is Today, a daily devotional to refresh, refocus, renew. This is Today, for Saturday, March 5. Red Sky at Night. Our reading comes from Matthew chapter 16. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. He replied, When evening comes, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, today it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation looks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Jesus then left them and went away. The teaching that Jesus mentions in this passage has become a rhyme related to sailors. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky at morning, sailors warning. The sky appears red when the sun, at morning or evening, shines through the clouds. The water particles in the clouds break up the light rays so that we see an orange-red glow. As storms in the region tended to move from east to west, seeing the red light from clouds in the east meant that a storm was coming toward you, and seeing it in the west meant it was moving away. Though they have much more sophisticated tools today, a red sky can still mean a lot to seafarers. At the beginning of Matthew 16, we read that the religious leaders came to test Jesus by asking for a sign from heaven. This question is surprising, since it came soon after Jesus' miracle of feeding a huge crowd of 4,000 men, besides women and children. Was that not enough of a sign? Jesus' miracles were signs of the kingdom of God coming near, but few people were reading these signs, so Jesus hinted that his critics should take note of this. But they were stubborn and would not open their eyes. What was coming, in some ways like a storm, was good news. The Son of God, Jesus Himself, had come to die for everyone's sin, so that all who believe in Him could be saved. Pray with me. Lord, teach us more each day about the new life You give us through Your death and resurrection. Amen. This is Today. Get our free daily devotional on the go. Get it delivered to your email inbox each morning or download our app to your mobile device. Sign up at todaydevotional.com.